right, so first things first, guys. I got a drum break already laid out. Now, I didn't create this drum break from scratch, so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This is a drum break I got off Splice. It's like a nice 70s groove type of drum break, so this is what it sounds like. And at the very end, it has a nice little feel. But I wanted to show you guys that, and right here we got Addictive Keys, as always. And we are going with the Studio Grand, Image Grand, kind of a vinyl type of sound to it, but it's enough to get the job done. So we're going to go ahead and lay this down. Extremely simple chord progression, nothing too crazy. That's simple. I know that's extremely simple, but I like to keep stuff simple on this channel, man. I don't try to... I don't want to over complex stuff because sometimes that can be frustrating trying to come up with cores that are like, you know, very complex. From here on out, I kind of want to keep everything on like a very simple basis. kind of trying to brainstorm ideas as I'm letting the beat kind of play. All right, so actually before we jump into the bass line, guys, I want to go ahead and add in like some muted guitar licks. I think it'll sound dope in here. So what we got put up right here, guys, is Evolution Hollow Body Blues, and this is by Orange Street Samples. So I got to make sure I hit the keys with a certain touch so it doesn't, you know, do this. If I hit the keys too hard, I'm going to get this. We don't want that. We want that kind of muted sound, so... So I gotta be kind of careful how hard I hit it. But I might have to go back in and edit it, you know, afterwards. I'm not even gonna lie, cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it all the way through like that. Now it's time to pull up this bass line for you guys. Now usually you guys know I like to use contact and that's the Rickenbacker bass. But today we're gonna be using actually my favorite VST to use for basses and that's the Trillion bass. So many different basses in here. I probably said this a million times to you guys, but just to reiterate it, Trillion is like the go-to bass VST that you need for all your needs when it comes to bass lines. So for our bass today, we got the Marcus Go-Go bass pulled up and it's a pretty nice sounding bass, not bad at all. So far, our bass, like I said, is pretty much just following along what we got with the chords. So moving on guys, I always thought, you know, like woodwinds, flutes and things like that, especially in soul records from the 70s and even records, you know, prior to the 70s around like 68. And um, when you sample records that have those nice flute and woodwinds in there, man, they just sound incredible. So we're gonna be using the VST Halion right here. And this preset is called the Ethnic Flute. I think I used it before in this channel. This has a nice, very windy sound to it. All I'm gonna do is this. Then we're gonna switch it up. Sounds pretty dope. Hopefully it sounds good in here also. So let's lay this down. So next up guys, we can't do it without having a string in this track, whether it be the 80s or whether it be the 90s or whether it be the 70s, it doesn't matter. You gotta have a string in there some way, somehow. So right here guys, we got Halion pulled up once again. Today we're gonna be using the cinematic string. Not too much, but it's there. And it doesn't actually have a lot of delay on here either. 
So because of the flute is pretty much leading this track, I don't want the string and the flute to clash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the string in the lower octave to where it doesn't interfere with that flute. So let's make this happen. Kind of hard to hear. But it really does like fill the track up. The main goal was to kind of make sure the string and that lead flute didn't clash at all. So that's why I don't have the volume really cranked up. I want it there. I want its presence to be known, but not to where it's truly interfering with that flute, which is kind of like, I don't know, I would say like the star of this track. For the vocals today, guys, we're gonna be using Arcade. And RK has a lot of different vocals in here, man. And of course, I didn't want to sit through there and just kind of go through all of them. So I found a couple vocals that I found fitting for the track. I really wanted more of some like background vocals, maybe some oohs and ahs and stuff like that. But instead, we're gonna go ahead and use some lead vocals because these vocals are more modern day R&B, I would like to say. So they're not really 70 soul samples per se, but that's gonna all depend on how I mix everything that really gonna deliver that sound. But enough talking guys, these are the vocals that I found in Hook. I don't wanna be with that one, then the second one. I just wanna take it. So we're gonna go ahead and put those down and I'm gonna have them like, kind of like repeating back and forth. All right, guys, so I decided to go ahead and switch them. I couldn't do it with them vocals, so I, I still got them right here, but I muted it. And we're gonna go ahead and use the jukebox vocals. Now, these are more aimed towards the soul vocals of the 70s and 80s and stuff like that. So it's pretty nice sounding, and I think it'll fit perfect without, you know what I mean, sounding too modern. So let's lay this down in there. It's much better. All right, guys, so last but not least, we're about to add us a nice electric piano in here to add more of a dreamy element to this track. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using the sustain pedal right out of Addictive Keys, and this is what I'm gonna do. And that's what the sustain pedal, when you take it off, it's just. All right guys, so it's time to wrap this beat up. I love the way the sample sounds so far, but now we're gonna go ahead and get this all arranged and then I'm gonna probably pitch it up. I'm not sure how many semitones, I'm gonna play around with the pitch just to kind of see what sounds better, but we definitely gonna pitch this up. But enough talking, let's go ahead and hop back into it so you guys can check out what this finished beat is about to sound like. Let's go.